Is this to be uh, the layout of the of the school? You see that? No. Yes, sir. It is. And you see, indicated here is the patio in the lobby, right? Yes, sir. And so when you came in with your team, take that you came down this hallway to the right. Yes. Can you describe for the jury that process, please? We went. It was a. We're, it was a team on the right side that cleared those rooms on the right. There was a team on the left side that cleared the rooms on the left. I, I recall being on that right side team as we went down the hallway. Uh, and was this side of the hallway uh, empty? Yes. Did you go through each room with your team searching for any survivors or anybody that might be hidden? Yes, sir. Okay. And describe for me how that process ended. Oh, we're in a number of classrooms, and then I think the last, the last room I remember being in was a, what I would call like a boiler room. The, another agent, myself, were in this, you know, like a maintenance or boiler room. And we were checking behind metal, um, metal cabinet doors or metal doors that opened up into pipes and stuff. And did you and your team satisfy yourselves that um, that this side of the school was just essentially empty, that everybody had evacuated? I, I just, I know that the people in charge determined that yes, we had cleared that side. Okay. Tell the jury what you did next. Uh, we returned uh, to the lobby and then um, what I recall is that we went back out to the front of the school. Okay. And then um, at some point it was determined, <clears throat> sorry, I guess they had, they had either found like one, um, they had found like an adult female or two adult females alive, they were hiding somewhere, is what I recall, that there were um, in an office or something. This was after, not where we had searched. And um, so they determined that the, they wanted the whole process done again. That these st either staff members or, you know, uh, were hiding, you know, obviously hiding for their lives. And um, it was determined that they wanted the whole place done again. So did you and your team have to re-enter the school at that time? Yes, along with the uh, uh, state police team. But it was determined that your team this time would go to the left, correct? Yes, sir. Can you pull out and focus in on the hallway to the left? No, I'm sorry. Uh, close to the, the front parking lot. I'll help you. Just zoom out of this, please, my team. Just on this area here, please. When you came into the school and entered the left, where did you go first? Oh, so I was the first in what they call the stack. So I know I was I was first, and then there were two other guys, with, two other of my teammates with me when we entered uh, the first classroom. <laughs> Sorry, we entered that classroom through the through the door, the first classroom. No, I'm not going to ask you. Uh, what you saw in that classroom was very real, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Um, when I, when I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. These people have to listen. They have to listen to this. But you know, I saw. You know, Bill. Stop. I'm so mad. Sorry. You came through that first classroom, Bill. Yes, sir. Did you then enter the second classroom? Stepped to the first classroom, um, cleared it, and then we went through the. There's a, the classrooms are divided by a, I guess, like a middle door. The two classrooms were attached by a middle door. We entered into the second classroom. 
That was Vicki Soto's classroom? I learned that after, yes. You learned after that Ms. Soto was killed where she was. Section meeting, Judge. I, no, I. What did, did you, did I, you, I'm sorry. I'm, I know that. Hang on a second, Bill, there was an objection. That's fine. Did you observe Ms. Soto where she laid in that classroom? I observed a teacher who I learned later was Mrs. Soto. So, it, yes. Without saying anything about Anything about Ms. Soto's telephone? I just, I, don't, I mean, it, it's just certain things. You, you, the certain things I remember that day, like um, it's probably like six or seven of them. Um, but I do, I remember that next to the teacher, who I later learned was Mrs. Soto. I remember there was a phone, and I remember the phone. Like I remember the phone was like lighting up. But I later learned from objection, from, hearsay, non response. You remember the phone was lighting up? Yes, sir. Did you believe it was ringing? I couldn't. Like, so our, our senses were, I mean, that is like, it, it overwhelms your senses. I don't know. I don't know what I heard. I just know that what I saw, it overwhelms your senses. It's frigging horrible. Did you finish clearing that side of the school bill? Yes, sir. So we, once we went through the, the two classrooms, uh, we went and cleared each room down the hallways. Um, and um, we got, I know there was one room that we found. We didn't find anything. Like, we didn't find anything in any of the other classrooms. We were in such a, like, we were in such a panic, or at least I was in a panic. I just, we were looking at, we were looking everywhere. Just wanted to find something. Just look at everywhere. Anyways, we, we saw some blood, and then later on, I was, uh, down the hallway or in another classroom. I don't recall exactly, but later on we were told that that was like one of the. Actually, you're safe at that point, Judge. Sustained. Not offering for the truth of the matter, Your Honor. Relevance then. You just ask the next question. Did you learn as a result of that that um, one of the children leading had been had been previously found I, and I, transported for medical attention? At some point, I learned. Meeting. Can you ask it in a meeting where? Sure, Judge. What was the significance, Bill, of the fact that you and your team found blood, but no body nearby? I just, either I assumed or later on I learned that a child or a child or children were transported to the hospital, and that's what the blood was from. And then that a, um, Maybe it, one of the one of the first the, the officers that were initially there had tried to transfer. Objection, well beyond narrative. Claim it. Objection. Attorney Pattis, can I decide work on something? No, I'm moving henceforth. Okay. State police team had cleared the school. You gathered outside the school to wait for your next orders. Uh, yes, sir. We we gathered out um, in the front of the school, but down further down the end, and that's when 
I remember seeing other members of our team arriving, you know, guys who were guys who had deployed from other locations and other divisions who were arriving, and um, our team leader at some point told us, um, and uh, later on, maybe an hour or so later, we ended up going to a what they would call an emergency operations center they had set up. Okay, let me, let me ask you do, you, do you recall, and you can take this, do you recall approximately what time it may have been when you completed your work at the school and came out with your team? I mean, we probably were in there. I mean, I, that's, you know, again, it's 10 years ago, so I would say it was probably a, an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Pro probably more like an hour. <clears throat> Do you have any idea who Alex Jones was at that time? No, sir. Was what you saw in that school fake? No, no. <laughs> no, sir. Was it synthetic? No, sir. No, sir. See any actors that day, Bill? No. no. Those children real? Were you aware that at that very moment, Alex Jones was telling his audience of millions that what you had just seen was staged? Objection, just leading. <sighs> no. Objection, no, I didn't know. Excuse me, move to strike. I'll, I'll strike it. The jury will disagree. It's when I sustain an objection. Oh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. For the next part. No. Yes, sir. Did you know that Alex Jones was on the air at that time? No. Objection. Sir. Relevance. Well, Googled. Pull up exhibit 120, page 6, please. 212, 2012 chart. This is already in, Judge. 